What's going on everybody? Today I've got a brand new tutorial for you guys and that is of course how you can make a Lightroom in Cinema 4D. So I guess we should just start. So first off you want to have the special render settings because if you don't have like a special effects on the render setting it's not going to look good just say, I'm just going to say that. Once you click on that button up there you you'll get this render settings tab so you see all these shits right here you want to go on output and change the width to about 1920 and height to 1080 then you want to go to uh, if you're making the intro that's most of you probably are you're gonna go to this frame range right here and put the current frame to all frames and then you want to go to save and then change the format to PNG and press this little box right here and tick other channel then compositing project file to get the camera moving you just press all of these and then you also have to save the file which I'm not gonna do because this is not an intro now you wanna go to anti-aliasing up here and press this geometry geometry and best then you want to go to 2x2 two two because if not it's gonna get a lot of render time so yeah you don't want that now what you want to go do, do is go to ambient occlusion you can just leave it as it is and then you want to go to global illumination and go to sampling and uh, you already know that iridians cache you want to press that and low these squares and then minimal because if not it's gonna get a lot of render time which you don't want now what you want to do is go to effect and cell render and just take this color that's all what you got to do then you go to effect and sharpen filter and strength to 6 then effect again and then you go to yeah, color correction and go brightness up minus 2, saturation minus, uh, no, saturation is 2, and contrast 2, and exposure minus 0.2. So now you have all this done with the render settings, you can just X out, it will still be there. And once you have done those, you can go and make the Lightroom. So first we need to go on to pro mode and project this button right here, mode, project and shake up, take a tick off uh, linear workflow. And then you want to just double click this area right here somewhere and then you see this mat here, mat coming up. You want to double click on that and then you get this, uh, this uh, box right here. So what you want to do is just go on to color, just tick off color and luminance, uh, no, uh, specular, and then you want to press luminance. So what you want to do is go to texture, click this little arrow button right there and go to gradients. Now as you might see it doesn't, this is not a HDRI if you're familiar with uh, HDRIs. So now what you want to go and do is click on this uh, little uh, uh, box right here with the layer gradient in it. Then you want to change the type to the 2D diagonal. And then just what you want to do next is go into the middle, make a check mark. One uh, here and one there. So now you want to make this white, this black, this white and this black so now you have a, a kind of basic material basic HDRI and then you want to just turn the turbulence up to about 15 I think that looks nice so now you have all this done you can go in to uh, just press luminous again and then you have this tab over what you want to do is just take the mix string down to about 70 or maybe 60 65 that is good 
And if you want this extra nice, you can go and get on this material right here and right click. Then you go and choose, I think it's, yeah, it's the Taurus. You choose Taurus Soft Shadow. Or you can just choose a normal Taurus with no shadow in it. I'm going to choose that now. So now we have the, the, that material. You want to go to this guy, which is obviously here. That is, you can see this floor. You just hold in and just drop your mouse now at the sky. Now we have that open. Then you go and just put the mouse anywhere where the sky is. So like that. Then you want to... Then you have seen this sky thing come up here. You want to right click, Cinema 4D Tags, then go down to Compositing. Then you want to just check this scene by camera. It won't be seen, but the text reflection that we're gonna add is gonna make it look. It's gonna make it a, a, a light. So yeah. Now we we this doesn't look that nice. When you add materials on, at least in, not in my case. So we have to add some more lights. So a simple way to do this is to just go to more graph and add more cloner. And then you go and choose a light and put it inside it. So we can go out of the camera now by pressing this. Then you see the cloner here. When you are on the cloner you want to change the mode to radial just like that but you, you don't see many uh, lights do you they're all in like here you want to just take the radius up a lot just like that and then you have that done you want to go into of course then you want to go and Copy this cloner by pressing Ctrl C and then afterwards Ctrl V. And then you want to just press this rotation button up here and just rotate it 90 degrees. Just like that. You can see the 90 degrees mark uh, just on the screen right there. So now you have rotated this 90 degrees. We can actually go and we have to go on both the lights now. So first light, go and change the shadow to soft mat maps. Right here, shadow, soft mat. Okay. Then you want to go to down to light and soft ma maps again on both of these. But ma now it might look a little bright if we add materials. I we can check that when the materials come. So now what you want to do is just add two materials. No, you don't need. You need to add one. Okay. So first you need to add your texture in, which I have a link for in the description, so you can download it. So you just drag it in on this layer right here, just like that, and you press no, I usually do that. Then you want to change it to the color you want, so I'm just going to pick blue, just like that. And uh, then you want to change the mixture to about 50, or maybe 45. Yeah, that looks nice. So now you can just leave that alone and press the fusion. Well, you don't leave this alone because you have to copy the channel here by pressing this arrow and copy channel. Then you go to diffusion again and paste channel by pressing this arrow and paste channel. Now, as you can see, this looks a little bit dark. So what you want to do is just take the mixture and down to about 50, like that. So now we want to add a luminance and just take that to about four. So it gives that a nice little glow there. Then you want to go to reflection and tick that, and then this is like the makes the material look good. When you go to texture and paste channel again, just like that, you want to take the mix ring to about uh, 12. No, it was like 30, I think. Yeah, take the brightness, brightness, brightness of this to about a bit down, and maybe it start to. It doesn't. It's not gonna be like a much of. A, Reflection. It's gonna look kind of like this. So you wanna have a, like 12 and then maybe 2. So that is a nice reflection. So now you wanna go and just leave it alone and go to bump, take that on, and texture, paste channel on the arrow. Then you wanna just take the strings down to about 5. Then 
And you want to go to uh, Specular and take that on and take the call to have a mod on here to metal Now this looks a bit weird. Well, you don't actually have it on metal. You you're gonna have it on plastic You're gonna take the width to about uh, 60 and uh, H to 30 so just like that I think maybe 25 maybe yeah like that you can also change the color if you want but uh yeah I'm gonna do that no I don't I'm not gonna change the color you don't need to but sometimes I do so now we can preview this material I uh, do personally like it to be on the second uh, um, mold text so yeah I'm just gonna put it there so now what you want to do is just press this and control C and then control V so now you have two blue materials you want to click on the one one of them and then you want to go to color and change to all to a gray color just like that um, I didn't really change color of on anything else on the blue one so yeah it's just all you need and then you want to drag this material on to the other mat uh, mold text. So now you want to go into both of them and go to projection and change that to cubic. Then seamless. I have already one ticked on, so it says minus. I'm just gonna. You want to tick that on. So now we can look at it. So now this looks super nice with the light lights. So I'm not gonna change the brightness. Do not do that because this looks super fantastic. So yeah, that's literally how you make a Lightroom. It's it's super easy if you learn it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to hit that like button. Can we reach 175 likes? That would be awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, bye.